And we have been declared on by a coalition, ladies and gentlemen. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing our A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 that is unique enough, of course, in alphabetical order. And today we're back with the nation of Ashikaga. Ashikaga is located in Japan and it is the Shogun, which means all of these other nations, they're Ashikaga's daimyos or vassals, whichever way you want to put it. But as everyone knows, playing as the Shogun is, well, boring. So, let's jump in as Ashikaga, and I'm gonna show you the right way to play as them. Just like you can browse the internet the right way with the sponsor of today's video, Opera GX. Opera GX is a special version of the Opera browser built specifically for gamers. So what's so special about Opera GX? Why is it a browser for gamers? Well, let me show you right here. Boom, GX control. Playing a little online FPS shooters with your buddies and you're lagging behind, too much ping. Boom, network limiter, no more browsers hogging bandwidth. You like watching 17 videos on YouTube while playing games, but the videos are using too much RAM? Boom, RAM limiter on, decrease that. No more RAM being hogged by your browser. U4 is a CPU hog and your browser is using too much CPU? Boom, CPU limiter on, decrease that, all that good CPU left for U4. There's also built-in accessibility features right here in the sidebar, all your favorite messengers, Twitters, Discords, boom. Wanna at me on Twitter? There it is, it just popped up right there. Tweet me. Wanna chat with your boys in Discord while playing games or you wanna join the nest? Boom, Discord, right there. There's also the GX player where you can stream all your favorite music right from the browser. Apple Music, Deezer, SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube Music, you already know. I'm a video game soundtrack enjoyer, but I do like using YouTube Music from time to time. Oh, and by the way, Opera GX is also available on your phone for free, Android or iOS. So check out the link in the description Download Opera GX for your desktop or for your phone and start browsing the internet the right way today. Now back to the video. Alright, alright, so here we are as Ashikaga. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be showing you the right way to play as them. And that way is gonna be for us to stop being a Shogun and instead become a Daimyo like all of these other guys right here. Let's face it, being a Shogun is boring. We don't wanna wait around like 50 years to annex all of these guys. And by the end, when we have 5 to 10 guys left, they won't even wanna be annexed because they'll be mad at us. So, we also start in a Regency, which is very unfortunate. So, for these first 7 years, we're just gonna have to stand around and do nothing until our Regency ends but in the meantime i can summon the diet and pick an agenda and i can do some estate stuff all right estate stuff done now there really isn't anything else to do apart from uh hire some advisors let's get this production guy mm, i like this diplo rep guy and uh sure i'll get a national manpower guy and i'm also gonna move to this province right here instead of kyoto maybe i can also go collect in this trade note from now on do i need to rival anyone no not really so yeah let's just go stand around right here for the next seven years at least we can uh, conscript some generals as the Shogun get some generals for free from our subjects and uh, looks like that's the only one I can conscript because all of the other guys, well, they're fighting. By the way, I'm sorry I didn't say the goal, I forgot. But our goal is gonna be to conquer the entirety of the Japan region right here, this little greenish region right here, as well as Beijing. Those are our goals as Ashikaga, the right way of course. Now the thing with this Ashikaga strategy is of course, by the time we get to become a daimyo in like four more years, all of these other daimyos will have grown significantly and really strong ones will emerge. So basically, we're just starting out seven years later than we normally would as a daimyo. So yeah, it's not gonna be very easy, but we'll try. These first seven years are fun. <laughs> no, no, they're not. <laughs> Hopefully the next seven will be. Finally, air. Okay, so now we can commence with what we actually want to do since we do have an heir. And what we actually want to do is declare on some nation and lose. So let's see, um, hmm, these guys here, Ishiki, they aren't too powerful. Uh, I have no diplomats to send. Okay, no worries, I'll just recall all of these guys. Okay, they're back. So let's declare, no CB, good relations, they're our subject. Eh. Okay, there we go. We just declared on Ishiki right here. Let's let a month pass. Boom, okay, a month has passed. So now we can offer tribute and give them Kyoto. They'll accept. Wonderful. Boom, there we go. Changes in your country, blah, blah, blah. We're no longer a Shogun. Let's see. Yep, we're a Daimyo. Who's the boss? Ishiki is the Shogun and they're losing a war to Oda. Either way, that's not something that... What's this? Are you guys seeing this? 
Oh, it's gone. Either way, that's not something we care about. What we do care about actually is stabbing up. There we go. Perfect. Now I can give out some other estate privileges like the advisor discount ones. There we go. Commercial advisory board. Perfect. Okay. Now that we're no longer Shogun, we can start declaring on all of these guys around us, such as Uesugi and Imagawa. Let's see Imagawa right here. No truce. Sengoku. Boom. That's how you do it, man. So easy. This is where the fun begins. And there we go. First war done. We beat up Imagawa, taking all their money, taking all their land. By the way, I didn't declare on Oda. This is just the new emperor dragged me in. Either way, that's a nice start, but we are a lot poorer than other daimyos. And the only ones that I can really declare on are Toki and Uesugi. And, uh, I don't think I can do that right now. So let's chill a bit, try not to go bankrupt in the first 10 years, and then I'll be declaring on someone else. Brai Shiki over here just enacted the sword hunt decision. My force limit is now one. Uh, not easy, man. I'm telling you, not easy. Next enemy acquired. It is Uesugi. Boom, boom, boom. All right, all right. Another daimyo bites the dust. Excellent. Excellent. We are expanding. We're still so poor. We still have such low land force limit, but I think we're gonna make it, man. I think we're gonna make it. All right, next target is Ando right here. Take capital Oshima. Yes, yes, I will take their capital Oshima. And that's all done and dusted as well. Let's, uh... Oh, I... I can't make it a core? I guess I'm leaving Ando alive then. But either way, what I was trying to say is it seems that three powerful nations are emerging on the Japanese islands. That will be me as a Chicago, Atekayama right here, and Yamana as well. Although they seem to be on the losing side of a certain war. So yeah, I think I can take these guys and these guys right here, Toki and Satake. But then I think I'm gonna have a little trouble with Atekayama and Yamana. We'll see though. We'll see. Let's chill a bit and try not to go bankrupt. I can even get some allies now, and I do think I want to do that, so let's ally someone we won't be fighting that soon, like uh, Shimazu right here. Yeah, that seems like a good alliance. Someone else? Eh, I think we're good. Alright, another nation on the chopping block, Satake, Toki won't join, excellent, Sengoku, boom, boom. Easy man, easy as pie, really. Actually, it's not that easy, <laughs> it's much easier to start as a regular daimyo, but hey, like I said, this is the right way to play Ashikaga, trust me bro. Another easy victory for the glorious nation of Ashikaga. Kaga. Wonderful. Money. Land. What more could you want? I think Tokyo is next up on the list that we need to conquer. And after that, we're pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's hope uh, we see the downfall of Yamuna here. So maybe we can expand into them before facing Hatekayama. Actually, they have 3k troops. So we might just fight them. Let's check out the nobles right here. Basically the Bushi. Do they have enough privileges? Hmm. They have only three. I think we should strengthen noble privileges. Ah. Alright, listen, I hired the free company to beat up some rebels. I'm already bleeding money. Might as well take advantage of the fact that we have 9k troops and declare on Toki right here. Oh, I, I was gonna say, don't they have a level 3 fort? Oh, right, right, the AI has been updated. They delete forts they can't pay now. Well, either way, let's take care of Toki, huh? That was easy. Perfect. Okay, now we pretty much don't have anywhere to expand into except for Hatekayama. Of course, these guys are the Emperor, and uh, these guys are in a war already, so it won't be very fun to declare on them. But wait, so are they. Hmm, let me check my options here. You know what? I think the time has come. Let's declare on Hatekayama. Their ally won't join. This is the perfect moment. Let's go fight them. Now that's a nice ruler. <laughs> Oh my god, I couldn't disinherit him because I had a regency again. Alright, well that war is done. I can't full annex them because this province of theirs is occupied by Yamana, but I'll take an almost full annexing. Sure, I'm satisfied with that. Wonderful. They were pretty rich too, which is great. So yeah, let's core this up, beat up some rebels, and uh, then I think we're gonna wipe out Yamana and finish off these small guys down here. I did break my alliance with Shimazu. Who, who owns So? Who's this? Oh, it's the Emperor. Perfect. Now I'm just fighting uh, so many rebel stacks because, of course, you know I had to decrease autonomy everywhere so we can make money and so we can increase our force limit. Increasing autonomy to prevent rebellions because you're scared of fighting them, fan? Decreasing autonomy so you can fight them on purpose to get army tradition, more force limit, and more money. Enjoy her. All right, boys, the time has come to fight Yamana, their ally. Well, they don't have any allies. They're busy with something else. Yeah, let's declare on them. 
Shrem, who's the real boss over here, huh? Boom, boom, easy occupying their capital is. Wait, where's their capital? Is it this? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go uh, blockade there. So I actually pieced them out and gave them like uh, two or three provinces because I realized they're at tech six, I'm at tech five. No way I'm beating them in battles. And lots of rebels started popping up. So we have to deal with those guys and make sure we don't lose the country to them instead of fighting Yamana. So listen, guys, this is A to Z, man. We welcome failures here. And even though this battle has been lost, the war is not not over yet. I will be declaring my reconquest soon enough. And Ishiki, the emperor, just declared on Yamana. So now it's uh, me, Ishiki, and Shimazu versus Yamana. Oh, actually, those are the only nations that are left. Just us four. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can take apart Yamana a little bit. Maybe the emperor will give me my cores back. Eh, I didn't want to do this, but I literally can't say no. So the emperor Ishiki just peaced out. Funnily enough, they didn't give me anything, of course. Why would I expect anything else? But they did take quite a lot for themselves. It's not a big deal, honestly. Ooh, they're annexing Shimazu. So pretty soon, uh, uh, and Ainu is a tributary? Okay, that's perfect, because we do want Ainu to ally the Emperor. I mean the Shogun. Uh, either way, yeah, I'm just gonna... Well, I can't fight Shimazu, actually, so looks like our next war is gonna be versus Ishiki, the Emperor. Meanwhile, we're just gonna chill and buff up, fight some rebels. Yeah, not looking too bad, but we could be more powerful, of course, if we started off as a daimyo in 1444. Alright, let's build some galleys in preparation for the Independence War. There we go. That should be enough. Alright, boys, I think the time has come. Ships in place to prepare prevent Ainu from being annoying. Armies right here, we can't pass through Yamana, they're not a subject anymore. Leisure, check, my morale is 4, theirs is 2.54, and, well, army maintenance is down a bit, sure, but mine is more either way. It's time to declare our independence war and take the capital of Kyoto. Boom, boom, boom. Of course, we did lose a lot of stab. There we go, let's stab up. And let's go conquer Kyoto. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? A five siege general in 1483, dude. I didn't even spawn him. I, my tradition is pretty high. Actually, it was like 70, but I dropped due to an event. But I just completed a Bushi agenda, which gave me a 60 tradition general. And that is that general. 3205. Let's, uh, let's swap him around for this one. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So I've occupied most of their lands over here. In fact, I knew didn't even join us. So my ships were staying here for no reason. Either way, since I've occupied that, I think it's time to go and attack them here. Then go siege this and this down. And I think that'll pretty much be the end of it. I am going to attack them while they're in my capital. It is woods, so defensive terrain. Very nice stuff right there. Going to the ledger, we do have quite a bit more morale than them. So uh, yeah, let's just attach this to the main army, which is this one. And attach these guys to the main army as well. And let's move in right here. I'm going to slow it down for you guys so we can see the battle. And let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Very easy, in fact. Nice. And there we go. I've beaten them up enough. Now, I think they're too big for us to actually full annex them. Let's see something like this. Let's try it without taking Kyoto for now. And uh, yeah, they're definitely too big for us to full annex them right away. So like this, I will remain their subject. Or if I take Kyoto, I become the Shogun. Now, if I remain their subject, I literally have to lose a stab one more time. So let's see if we can do something like this. Let's select Grant Independence. There we we go this way will be neither of a daimyo or a shogun and we can actually take some stuff that's not kyoto yeah i guess something like this man and then we'll just fight them again let's see okay there we go we lost the war for the emperor are we still a daimyo we're an independent daimyo which is excellent and uh yeah this seems to be the best case scenario for now so yeah unfortunately we are gonna have to fight them again that's fine next time i'll take out yamana and ainu and then we'll just fight them one more time i've created a monster i didn't expect for them to become so powerful but either way we're going along nicely with our right way to play ashikaga i'm excited to fight ming hopefully i can fight them at full power and not when their mandate is low that's the way the real Sigma Japan players do it. Maybe now I can actually finally get to uh, spawning the Renaissance over here in this uh, Musashi. Nice province. Center of trade, farmlands. Yeah, pretty nice. Now, sure, being an independent daimyo is fun, but yeah, this is a big problem. Sure, I could expand administration, but uh, we're going to be becoming Japan either way pretty soon. Let's just go with uh, hmm, autocracy, man. There we go. At least now we're not limited by GovCap anymore. I swear I fought literally every single rebel army in the game, dude. And there's still more coming. My truce with these guys is up. They're busy with Yamana. It would have been a little problem since they're a miltech ahead of me, but let's just do it, man. I 
I literally have nothing else to do. Boom. Uh, sure, we can do this, we can do that. Let's take these guys, uh, well, they can stay here for now. Alright, that war is done. I'll just take everything I can, basically full annex Ainu and uh, these uh, three provinces that I've occupied right here. The rest will probably be taken by Ishiki. No big deal, our truce with them is up soon. Either way, I'm gonna get around that by declaring on uh, this daimyo that popped out over here, Mori. So yeah, let's peace out for this. Perfect, let me core those up and I'll probably be declaring on these guys. Oh yeah, it's renaissance time! Yay! Boom, boom, mm -mm -mm. I like that. Oh, what should we take for our first idea group? What will help us beat up Ming? I'm thinking quality for the ships as well, or maybe hmm, naval, where, where, where's naval? Uh, galley combat, I do like that. Yearly navy tradition, global engagement with morale. Yeah, I'll take naval, man, I'll take naval. All right, dude, let's beat these guys up, man. Automatic co-belligerent on Ishiki, even though I still have a truce. Wonderful that this guy decided to, uh, Pop out. Let's go over to Kyoto with my five siege general and uh, let's do something like uh, that over here. Naval leader shock, that's what I'm talking about. And that's about that, man. I've occupied everything except for the island of Tsushima right there. New mission, what's this? Tax and inflation reduction? I'll take that, thank you very much. Let's see exactly what we can take from them. I can't believe we still can't full annex them, man. <laughs> this is, uh, this is sad, to say the least. Let's do something like this, maybe. And I'll be left with these provinces down here to take over from them. But meanwhile, we can, of course, prep our war versus Ming. And yeah, man, sure, the fall of Kyoto, boom, very nice. This is a little bit slower. And even though we're a Chicago and we start off as the Shogun and we didn't stop being the Shogun, but this is the most fun way. Trust me, I know. Meanwhile, we can also become uh, a kingdom. Very nice. That's excellent. Uh, independent daimyo. We can't. Uh, we actually can swap to that, funnily enough. Hmm. I may actually do it, even with the minus 150 guff cap again. Either way, let's score these up, man. Hmm. Now I'm just chilling, buffing up my navies and armies in preparation for the war versus Ming. Can we form Qing as Ashikaga and turn this into the most cursed campaign? Well, I guess we'll have to see. All right, so Ming's mandate is below 50. I got uh, I got my navy built up, 30 galleys. Yeah, got a nice uh, little admiral there. Let's check. We do have more morale than them, so let's just declare on Korea for Gyeongju right there. Should we co belligerent Ming? Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Fighting boats. Ah, the good old Ming blockade. Isn't it wonderful, boys? A tale as old as time. Blockade them and make them tank their mandate. And uh, then they just get sad. That's pretty sad. Don't you think? Was there Miltech 7? Should I take a sailor recovery speed instead of Miltech 8? Yes. Of course I will. That's right, naval maritime. You know what it is. All right, I'm sorry, this is really inappropriate. I should really begin my journey over to the Korean Peninsula. I'm sorry about that. And yeah, man, that's pretty much the end of that. Ming is blowing up. Excellent Ming peasants, low mandate. I love it. I just beat up Korea. It's nothing. Let's take Jeju. I always forget about it. And uh, let's take everything that we are gonna get claims on from one of our missions, even though we don't have claims yet. Boom. We're super powerful, man. Inching ever closer to our goal, which to remind everyone was conquer the entire region of Japan and Beijing the right way as Ashikaga. Let's go finish off Shimazu, huh? Oh, Ishiki, I mean. Ishiki, sorry. Ooh, Shun just popped out as well, so I guess we'll be fighting Shun for Beijing, unless Ming wins this war, of course. And there we go, Yu and Wu just popped out as well. Free merchant, let's collect in Beijing or something. And the time has just come to unite Japan. There we go, I just declared war on Ishiki. Thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Let's go beat them up. And there we go, the final provinces that we need to unite the entirety of Japan. Well, except for Ryuku, but we'll be getting that pretty soon. Boom, there we go. That's all done. I can't believe we took a uh, naval and maritime. But uh, yeah, it's a thing now. It's a thing. Uh, accept it. Accept it. Uh, what do we need? United Japan win political supremacy. Well, how do I do that? Is Japan has an active shogunate? Yeah, I'll do that soon enough. Hey, Japan is united. Boom. Actually, we are gonna take new traditions and ambitions. Doesn't Japan have boat stuff? Where is it? Yeah, right there. Ship durability. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> Who are we gonna fight with all these boats, man? Ming blew up, we don't need them anymore. Win political supremacy, yay! Unite Japan! Construct the Gokaido. Now we have a claim on Ryukyu, so yeah, we'll be declaring on them, well, pretty much right now. Yeah, man, like I said, pretty much right now. There we go. 
Oop, they didn't even have an overlord because, well, I guess uh, Ming isn't powerful enough to keep them around as a tributary. They only have Mong Mao as a tributary. Amazing. So I need like five heavies for a mission. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And there we go, Ryuku is out of the picture just like that. Nice, we have united the entirety of Japan. So, uh, can't fight Shun, well, unless of course I, uh, no CB them, because I can't, uh, get a claim on them without this... Wait, we're not in the age of, uh, discovery anymore, we're in the, we're in the age of reformation, I can't do claims, boring claims. So yeah, I'm just gonna fight Ming now, and, uh, take this, or whatever, so I can spy on Shun, and then fight them. Easy, man. I love playing in Japan. Boom. And there we go, I just declared on Ming for the conquest of Laiju, forgot to record once again. And they're already at low morale, but yeah, let's get a move on to Laiju. We got an awesome, awesome fleet going right here. I'm constructing 20 more galleys, by the way. Galley supremacy. Now that's a fleet and a half right there. The Ashikaga Suigun, more like the fleet. Am I right? <laughs> Blockade efficiency plus 50%? Don't mind if I do. Alright, I feel like I've beaten up Ming enough. Let's take uh let's take their coastline with the exception of their vassal Wu right here. Let's uh let's get all of their money. Pretty weak bank of China this game, but of course they're half their size, so the bank is half its size too. Whoops, sure. Excellent. I like that. Wait, Shun doesn't even have Beijing anymore. It's Portion of all nations allied with Oirat and Jeonju. Now that is gonna be painful because Mongolia, the Rorad's vassal, I'm gonna have to fight three hordes. Naval supremacy is at much use versus them. So yeah, we'll see what we can come up with here, man. Uh, oof. Hmm. Floating batteries. Why, why would you float batteries though? I don't know. Aren't batteries not gonna work if you get them wet? Or maybe they'll corrode or something like that. Either way, I don't think they had batteries in 1534. Alright, I'm gonna declare on Shun to take these two provinces so I can be connected up to Korchin. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. And <laughs> Shen is not having a good time. Look at all these wars they're losing. Either way, this is all I want. Let's leave them and uh, let's get them partitioned by these other guys. That's all I want, man. Like I said, Korchin? Ugh. Oh. I'm so annoyed that I'm gonna have to fight these guys. You guys already know it's gonna be so annoying walking around all of this to siege them down. And the AI is like super smart with movements now in 1.32. And I play on speed 5 because I'm not patient. I'm never gonna catch these guys. Can we do something with our naval superiority versus these guys though? I doubt it, man. I doubt it. I feel like we're forming the Japanese Emperor 500 years early, but in the most cursed way possible. Okay, I think the time has come to declare on caution and take the province of Beijing. Like I said, it's gonna be very annoying. Have to fight Yan, these tiny guys right here. Oirat, they're huge. They're subject Mongolia. Zhu. I think they have Korea as a vassal. Yeah. So we're gonna be fighting a lot of very annoying nations to fight. My strat is gonna be to take care of Korea and Zhu here, piece them out, then maybe walk through Korchin, piece out Oirat and Mongolia, and then finally get to Beijing or something like that. Korchin is in war with Ming right now. For the Oirat Ming war for the Mandate of Heaven. So Oirat seems to have declared that either way let's declare for Beijing boom 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 and we're gonna be bombarding we're gonna be barraging we're gonna be doing everything we can there we go let's knock down this for a little quicker boom actually that fell immediately <laughs> that fell right away let's bombard Zhu's capital as well perfect and there we go Zhu and Korea are out still very annoying they still have quite a bit of troops uh I think I'm gonna have to go for Orat next and it's gonna be so annoying but let's try either way all right quality for our third idea group I can't believe we got to a third one let the games begin and Orat is out too Nice, let's go back. All right, it's going well. These guys are busy over here. I'm sieging this back down here. I have arrived at that fort. Boom, let's bombard that as well. Call for pizza, I literally don't care. I couldn't care less. <laughs> Can you tell I'm losing my mind, but we're still at A? All right, I'm sieging this back. Ming separatists have popped out. One of the final battles right here. Let's just walk in and see what's gonna happen in the Battle of Shenyang as the Japanese army marches in and crushes the Korchin army, shattering them back to retreat to the Korean Peninsula, apparently. Let's go siege this down. And that's about that. Now, <laughs> I know I said we're creating the most cursed... <laughs> 
Japanese Emperor 500 years early. This does seem pretty cursed. Wonderful. Actually, pretty nice expansion for 1550, to be honest, even though uh, we had a little bit of trouble over in Japan. And we have been declared on by a coalition, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what a fitting conclusion to this scenario. It seems that the infidels in Jeonju declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Who am I actually fighting? Jeonju, Udegi, and Ming, and Shun? Really? Is that it? Is that all they could muster up against me? Jeonju, Korea, Ming, Shun, Udegi, and Yeren. Of course, I can't separate piece these guys. Of course, I'm gonna try and win this so we could have a nice and fitting end to a wonderful, wonderful scenario that I think is gonna be a success. Let's see though. All right, boom. This army is here. Let's go fight these guys. This army is here. Let's go siege down Ming's capital. Select our mighty fleet. Select mission. Hunt enemy fleets in the East China Sea. Yeah, let's do this. Well, let's see that naval superiority can only take you so far. Good thing I'm loaded with cash, by the way. Let's select the independent army. Boom, that should help us out a bit. Wait, I, I can piece them out separately? No, no, I can't. I can't. That's right. I need to piece them all together. Man, I'm just walking through these forts, man. I feel like the Ottomans over here. What's wrong, man? Are you guys tired? Do you guys not want to be in this war? I thought you guys declared it. What's this? What's this? I don't understand. I really don't get it. And there we go, man. I mean, what do you guys want me to say more, huh? The war goal was to show superiority. Is this enough superiority? Is this enough superiority? Is this? Is this? Huh? I don't know what more you guys want from me, man. I really don't. So yeah, let's make these guys regret ever doing this. There we go, Korea. I'll take something from Ming and Shun to John Zhu, sure. Let's do a little border gore. The most cursed, um, the most cursed early reformation of the uh of the Japanese Emperor, man. Something like this. Yeah. Good riddance, man. Good riddance to these guys. That's what you get for declaring a coalition on Japan, man. Boom. Just like that. Is everyone angry now even more? Of course they are. Of course they are. But yeah, man, there you guys go. We started off as a Ashikaga the Shogun in 1444. Of course, like I said, I don't like playing the Shogun. I find it boring waiting around to annex the daimyos. And then the last 5 to 10 guys, they don't even want to be annexed because they're angry that you annex the other 20 guys. So I just showed you the right way to play as Ashikaga. Get that heir up on the throne instead of the Regency Council, declare on whichever nation, lose the Shogunate, retreat to Sagami right here, and then just play a regular daimyo game, except you start off seven years later and it's a little more difficult than in 1444. First goal, conquer the entirety of the Japan region, done, we have the curls, we even have Ryukyu, everything is done over there. Second goal was to conquer Beijing, it was a little harder since we didn't have to fight just Ming, even though we made them blew up, but later Shun got it, and then Korshin got it, but we did fight Ming anyway. Anyway, a couple of times we beat them up look even these nations popped out of them man who are these nations i've never seen them in my life shout out diviet by the way then we fought shun we got some provinces from them in order for us to be able to border beijing hokuke by the way no more beijing nope nope there we go and then later we fought Korchin along with Oirat and Mongolia and Jeonju and Korea to take the province of Beijing which we did there we go boom second goal accomplished and then we got coalition by all of these guys which were angry at us that we were doing what we were doing when we were doing and we completely decimated that coalition pretty nice pretty stable of course the disaster and the bankruptcy memes weren't fulfilled this game there we go I'll do a little of this just for you guys. But yeah, man, that meme is just not funny anymore. Going bankrupt every game, old school. Now it's about forming empires 500 years too early every game. You know what it is. Just kidding. But that has been Ashikaga in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, then you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or other U4 videos, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.